Hey everyone, welcome back to Crypto Cash. Thank you so much for joining me here. I hope you're having a phenomenal day. Let's take another look at Bitcoin and see what's going on. So far, so good with this bullish rectangle breakout. Uh, as you can see, we've tested the upper and lower range a couple of times and inevitably broke to the upside. Well, we didn't get that retest this descending, um, you know, or sorry, that we didn't break free from the ascending trend to retest the lower level. Uh, we are breaking free now at this point. So what does that mean for us? We're going to talk about that and a few other things here as well. So uh, welcome aboard if you're new to the channel. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you can learn something today. Uh, if you do want to become a better trader, though, I just want to remind you, CryptoCash.tech is a site linked down below, and you can uh, essentially check that out if you'd like. I got a trading academy community, and I share trade signals that I send to my community. So take a look here at liquidation levels on the left-hand side. The thing we want to recognize here, of course, is the last seven days on the left, is that there are some immediate short liquidation areas here. So we can see what 60... 68, 68.8 and roughly about the 69.3 mark. Uh, if we do look at the, the macro here, we can kind of see that these, these are pretty heavy concentrations. We just got this, a sweep of 68.5, a good like 6 billion gone. We got 7, 9, 7, 7. When you add this all up, it's probably somewhere in the range of about 30 to 40 billion dollars between here and 69.5. So 69.5, I would say, is the next stopping point, um, mainly because it's just below that key uh, key level, that round number, that 70,000. We also saw a wick up to 70,000, the local high, which we'll show, I'll show you how, how on the charts here soon. The thing that I'm a little concerned with, though, and I talked about this yesterday, giving us a, you know potential false breakout here is just a simple fact that we have too high a delta. I mean, the last five trading days we can see here, Literally everybody's taking long positions. So it's good, don't get me wrong. It, it should drive the price higher. However, when you have too high of a concentration of liquidation, uh, whales know that and they wanna push the price action in a certain direction. The difference is, do they have enough volume or are they able to push it in that direction and swipe, you know, swipe those, those liquidation levels? At this point, it's almost looking like they're having difficulty selling off. Okay, we got some really good stuff going on here today. What today's like exactly six months since Bitcoin having as well. It's like a lot of funny coincidental things going on right now. But the key takeaway I would say is that open interest is at 67,000. That's gonna reaffirm itself as its support level. So price does pull back down to low 67K. That seems like a, a solid consideration for a long, just again, big picture thinking out loud here. Uh, however, we do wanna look at the charts and kind of understand that you know, we're honoring our ascending trend. Things are looking pretty solid here, but how much higher can it go? Well, let's quickly address that here first. Uh, if we look at our, we kind of zoom out, we can see our, our bullish uh, patterns here. Of course, our more macro pattern and our local um, bear, uh, bull flag rather. And what we want to look at is a few things. First of all, I got the macro fibs pulled up here for us. Uh, again, a low of about roughly 50K, upwards of about 74K. And what this is telling us here is we're coming up on our 0.786 fib level. Now we've rejected pretty soundly off this range here before. Okay, so we've had difficulty crossing 68,000 local, uh, the more recent. Uh, I wouldn't say that's super recent, but that's back in July, late July. So looking back at that and understanding, hey, we've seen some difficulty getting through this level, it would be naive to expect the price just to blast straight through it right now. Okay, usually you want to see a retest of that level. So a lot of times it'll look like uh, this here where the, the price pulls back to local fibs and essentially continues higher from there. So my hope is that we see the price pull back to the 65 to 66K range. And at that point, we set our, our targets on some pretty, pretty significant uptrends. But between now and then, it's safe to presume that the 68.5, 68.7, uh, whatever number you want to round up or down with there, 68.5 is a nice easy number, uh, I would say is going to be the, the resistance there for us. So closing above that level would be advantageous, giving, giving us con you know, confirmation that we've broken through that threshold. Okay. Now again, you don't take trades solely on that one thing, um, but everything's looking pretty decent here in the overall sense. So let's Let's take a quick look at the daily time frame and just kind of work our way down. And as per usual, folks, um, you know, once the weekend occurs, we're going to look at the weekly and the monthly time frame. But for right now, uh, generally speaking, both the, the weekly and the monthly have bullish convergences. They have more, more bullish signs and bearish signs. Okay, so we are seeing a, a shift in momentum here happening. Now, take a look here, though, just to clarify. Speaking of shifts in momentum, we do have a stochastic swing to the downside here or basically a divergence, so to speak. This is nothing to trade into, but it does tell us here that, hey, we're hitting at resistance range. And I talked about this earlier, too, kind of rejecting off that 70 range. We're trying to re-break re through that again. Uh, there's a solid chance that until we close soundly through that, we're probably going to see this be the resistance range for us. So me, personally, 68.5, 69.5, that'd be a best case scenario for, the, for this next little leg up, so to speak. I don't foresee us hitting 70K or higher in the immediate future without 
proper retracement. Now again, we've consolidated for a good 24 to 48 hours in this range. So that is a very good thing. That definitely helps build that, that foundation. But overall, at this point, um, you know, there, there's there's some, some reasons why the price could and should pull back. Now again, for the most part, runs like this, when they start happening, there, there's not a lot of sense like that that can be made from it. So I wouldn't be surprised if it does continue and you know, it, it kind of defies the laws of trading. But generally speaking, from a trading perspective or technical analysis perspective here, uh, we are seeing um, some shifts there in the back end that, that should lead to the price pulling back at least a little bit. But hey, we might actually see our bottom in at 67,000. Wouldn't that be awesome? Um, okay, again, depends on how you look at it, but either way you look at it here, the daily time frame does look very good. It's very bullish, there's no other way around it. And I'm not proposing we're gonna see a significant drop. If we do see a correction, my money's on you know the 65 to 66K range being kind of like the lowest area of retracement, at least for a healthy, a healthy pullback before the next leg up, right? Do we always see that? Is that always a, a, a thing? No, definitely not. But this is this is trading after all, folks. Uh, anything can literally happen. So take a look at the four hour time frame. We're still under resistance here, of course. It's good to kind of be at this level. Uh, good in the sense that we're probably seeing the top coming in here soon. And we can also recognize as well that money flow index is essentially bouncing and starting to increase. Okay, So as money flows into this coin, we have more sustainability here. And that's what we're seeing so far. Uh, we want to look at uh, MACD here as well. It, while it's diverging, it's trying to converge here, essentially. So this does tell us a shift in momentum is trying to, to happen. Uh, so if we maintain this range above 68,000 or higher, we could very well see the price continue higher. Again, I know it seems kind of weird, right? Like there's a lot of scenarios here where it could and should do this based on X, Y, Z. Um, the truth is when, the, when, when Bitcoin is this overextended, this close to some key levels, um, I don't personally feel it's best to take breakout trades. I think, um, you know, locally here recently, taking those ranges uh, up and down was a good call. I know some folks were range bound trading. At this point, we've broken the range, so we can expect the price to go higher. I just don't think we're going to see a monumental increase here unless literally everyone uh, starts coming into the market. And we can kind of see this, this heavy amount of volume. If you look um, kind of closer we can see a pretty significant amount of volume in this most recent candle. Now that's good, don't get me wrong, it implies there's buying pressure, but it also implies too with the candle not being super significant, there's a lot of selling pressure too in this range. So I think 60, 68.5 to 69.5 is my, 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 my rough estimate on where we should see the price action kind of start to top out. Uh, if we take a look at the Ichimoku cloud, this does tell us here, shorting this coin is still very dangerous. I do not necessarily recommend that. Uh, when we look here, of course, from before, as I mentioned yesterday, there was no significant buy signal uh, to go long or short. Right now, we are kind of getting that confirmation that a long would be viable. So please understand, if you consider trading at this point, um, 68,000, that's probably a good a good consideration for a long. You're gonna have more success considering a long right now than a short. The the, the caveat there is you gotta recognize that it cannot be a long to the so-called stratosphere or the moon, right? It's not gonna we're, we're not gonna hit eighty thousand tomorrow. Um, keep in mind November December is generally a very good uh, good month or two for for Bitcoin and all that in combination with some positive highlights on the crypto markets and you know presidential election stuff. There's some good things coming here, but uh, again, from just a realistic standpoint here, it wouldn't make a ton of sense to see uh, some, just to see those those crazy obnoxious uh, numbers just yet. All right, anyways, I hope that makes sense. I described that correctly. Thank you so much again for watching. Hope you learned something here today. And uh, if you want to become a better trader, again, CryptoCash.Tech is a site. Link down below. Look forward to seeing the next one. Take care.